All right, I'm going to show you three ways of doing the central art image on your game card. Now, first, I'm going to show kind of the the easiest way. OK, if you go to Google and you go to Google Images. Um, if you just find somebody's artwork and post it in there, it's not my favorite way of approaching this. I'll accept it, you know, and it will be, you know, it'll be acceptable. But I'd rather you um, do it a bit differently, okay? So to do this, you copy and paste the picture, and then you put it underneath the border layer. And I'm just gonna make this border a little bit different so that you can see, so, it, um, pops out a little bit better. So I went to blending options and I did a drop shadow and a bevel and a boss. And so that just puts a little shadow on there and it kind of highlights your card better. Okay, so that's one way to do it and I'll accept it. Um, another way to do it, so ideally if you drew your own, um, that would be like my favorite approach. There are some limitations with using a laptop and especially a trackpad to try and draw. And it's not real fun and it's not real practical. So I'm, it's okay if you're not going to, you know, draw your own Pokemon character. Okay. An approach that's a little bit better than just kind of finding someone else's artwork and pasting it in there is if you find like a pencil drawing. So I'm going to copy this pencil drawing, paste it in there. And then I'm going to color it in. So this is not, this is kind of like an in between, you know, drawing your own and um, just finding a picture. So we are finding a picture. And what I'm going to do on this pencil drawing is I'm going to go to the blending layers and change it from normal to multiply. And then on this layer, Again, this is underneath my border layer. So then on this layer, I'm going to use a brush tool and paint in the Pokemon and maybe texture things on my own as well. So this requires a bit more work, um, but it's going to yield more, you know, uh, specific results that will reflect in your your better grade. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of filling it out with some base colors, and then I'm going to apply some shadows and highlights to this as well. So I'm going to make this character blue, and then I'm going to go in and do some hero highlights here. So anywhere there's um, where there's parts of the body that are kind of like getting more sunlight, I'm going to paint them a lighter blue, and then parts where there's less. So usually right where the around where the lines are, the shading's already kind of like shown in this for the most part. So I just kind of paint along those shadow lines where the artist has already kind of shaded it in quite a bit. And that gives me pretty good results. Now, obviously I'd want to go in and kind of tighten up some of the painting some more, but this is already like a more interesting result than just kind of like finding someone else's artwork and pasting it in myself. Okay, the third approach, and this is also very easy, is to use the text to image thing plugin. So if you go to window, and you go to more, you can go to 
text to image. And then you have this little button here. It says text. You click on that and you can type in a phrase to describe your Pokemon. So um, we're going to type in Pokemon style illustration of a flame type Pokemon in the shape of an iguana. And the more specific, the more things you can type into there, um, the better your images are going to look. And so when I click create, I can make one of these every 60 seconds or so before I can do another one. So I click create and it's going to create this picture here that's generated by AI. And then I can put this in place and size it down so it fits um, into my scene. And so those are three ways, um, all of which are valid and you can turn it in. Um, and I hope this just gives you some different options. All right. Have fun.